Good morning. I'm Theodore Oyan, and I'm a seventh grader here at the Y School. And today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about trains. No, not literal trains, where they bring you away to distant vacation destinations, but metaphorical trains. The idea that you can chug away at your goals in order to get to your final destination, what you aspire to be. Who here has read this book? The Little Engine That Could. For those of you who haven't, I'll put it in a nutshell for you. A little engine wants to go over a big hill. However, his small engine can barely get him moving on the tracks. However, he keeps on thinking to himself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And sooner or later, he goes over the top of the hill and he easily glides downhill. He went over the hill because he had the drive to do it. He had the willpower to go over the hill. He, in summation, he had the steam to do it. Funny enough, today's theme is steam. As many of you know, steam stands for science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. When I think of steam, I think of a steam train, like the little engine that could barely going over that hill. So all aboard as I take you on a journey to show you how to set your own goal, how to have the drive to follow through with your goal, and what you'll discover along the way. Let's start by setting your goal. Your goal is what you want to be. Your goal can be anything. Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a lawyer? scientist, politician, engineer, the choice is yours. But without that goal, you're a seahorse. However, your goal can't be unrealistic. I once heard a friend state that he wanted a 12-figure paycheck while he was in high school. Sadly enough, that's never gonna happen in the near future unless if he lives in a country with hyperinflated currency. More importantly, how would this kid earn that much dough without a proper formal education? In summation, this goal isn't smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. But your goal can't be too low. If you aim low, you'll get lower. Always aim to be the creme de la creme. If you want to be a doctor, aim to be an attending physician or a medical director. If you want to be a lawyer, aim to be a senior partner or managing partner. Always aim to be the best. Do you want to be that shark, the happy shark, or do you want to be the sad fish? Obviously, you want to be the shark. So I've given you a destination, but how do you get to that destination? Keep on their steam train analogy. Let's put it in words like a train. You have your train. All the train cars on your train are relevant, except for the first two. The first two is your engine and your coal box. These are the most important because the engine moves your train and your coal box fuels your engine. So let's build that engine and let's fuel that coal box. In order to do that, all we need to do is ask yourself one simple question. Why am I doing this? Why does this help? How does this help me? How does this help the people I care about, which includes me? How does this help society? And more importantly, how does this help the world? If your answer is, I don't know, then you have to change something. Your answer can't be, I don't know. Your answer has to be a clear, defined uh, definition within set parameters. With this, your train will move from a stop to a slow start. But you started your train. How do you keep the steam going? If your train starts moving, but you have no way of keeping the train moving, then you might as well have not started at all. So now I'm going to help you keep the steam running. How many of you are familiar with Steve Jobs' routine? His morning routine. A few of you, so I'll tell you about it. Well, actually, I don't know if it's a few of you because the lights are too blaring. <laughs> Basically, what Steve Jobs would do in the morning is he'd wake up, he'd take a shower, brush his teeth, and then he'd look in his bathroom mirror and ask himself, is what I'm doing today, if today was my last day, what I want to be doing today, what I want to be doing, what I'm doing today. 
If his answer was no one too many times, he'd fix something about your life. So now I challenge you, 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 and all of you to do a similar thing. Every day, look in the mirror and ask yourself, is what I'm doing today going to help me achieve my goal? And the answer is no, fix something. If you're a procrastinator like me, get a planner. If you can't focus while doing your work, if you can't focus while doing your work, take a five minute break and then attack your work with three times the energy. This will help you uh, keep the steam running. Now, if the gates of opportunity are closed for you, then you have to break them down. But a large amount of the time, they'll be open. I have a friend, Bo Kimler. He's not in the audience right now as he's in classes, but I already told him that I'll give a shout out to him. <laughs> he aspires to be an astrophysicist. The school, the white school, his school, my school, this school, gives him space-related opportunities so he can be well-versed in the general topic of space. Additionally, it'll help him get better formal education in, in later in life, and finally, it'll land him the job that he wants. However, sometimes those gates will be closed. They'll be shut together, and they'll be tied together with a padlock. Sometimes you'll feel back against the wall. If that happens, just quote fictional suits attorney Harvey Specter. If you're back against the wall, break the thing down. So your train is slowly moving through the lazy villages of laziness procrastinate, and procrastination. You can move into a better part of the country and you can see the basis of Mount professionalism, intelligence, and ambition. As you see the bottom of the mountain chain of success, I hope you are on your way to achieving your goal and you know what you have to do. You know what your good habits are. You know what your bad habits are and you know how to get rid of your bad habits. You'll know how to emphasize your good habits and you'll know how to decrease the effects of your bad habits. I hope that you know what is successful and what was bringing you down. So as we move to the last part of our journey, I'd like to give you two reminders. First of all, never run out of steam. Second of all, never be average. Always strive to be the very best that you can be. So I tip my conductor's hat to you, even though I'm not wearing one, but that would be weird. But I tip, it, I tip my fake hat that's not even there to you, and I pass the cap on to you so you can conduct your very own train. Thank you.